Hey folks, your OS reviews. So over the years, we've checked out a number of LED lights, disco, dancing, stage lights, which are always pretty fun and cool to look at. We've checked out a ocean wave light in the past that creates this very mesmerizing effect of water or ripples of the ocean reflecting softly on the walls that helps you maybe fall asleep or sets the tone for some parties. Now, this is the same type of light, but in the form of a laser kind of projector's body, so it's quite of an interesting fusion between two that we've seen before, and it sells on Amazon for under 30 bucks, so it's still pretty affordable and inexpensive. It's also very small, comes with an IR remote control, fairly standard stuff as far as these stage lights are concerned. The box is as generic as it gets, but uh, on the inside there is just the light with the projector unit itself, which is made out of aluminum for the shell. We'll take a closer look in a second. There is a proprietary charging or a power a brick. It is a little bit short in the cable length as we've critiqued uh, other models in the past. The same thing is here. So if you have it set up at a wall or stretched onto a desk, you do need to use an extension cord. Otherwise, there is a tiny small tripod mount made out of aluminum. So you can set the projector at an angle and put it onto the ceiling or something like that, which is a pretty cool bonus. Finally, there is the IR remote control and a quick start guide printed in Chinese as well as in English tells you how to set things up and the battery itself uses a cell based CR2025 and you can see that it's also sound activated which means that there is a slight microphone in here that will detect when bass drops or something like that so that it can flash and strobe the light accordingly to your music, which is really cool. Now, this is a pretty typical remote control. Uh, it uses IR, which means you have to be in direct line of sight with a sensor for it to work. If you are covering this up or from a different direction, it's not going to work. So that's something to keep in mind. The controls themselves are fairly tactile and they're risen above the surface, so they're easy to tap on. You have ability to change through the multiple colors, to turn it on or off, turn it to white light, as well as adjust the speed for the rotation of the light. You can also again um, sync it to music with the sound activation mode on or off, and there's also a strobe mode. So taking a look at the design of the unit here, the projector unit is very uh, traditional as far as almost looking like a laser projector, but again, it's an LED water ripple light, which I thought was interesting. There is IR sensor on the top, and this is the head, which uh, creates the illusion of those water ripples uh, through this prism lens, and I'll show you guys that in a second when I turn the lights off. But there is this arm which can adjust it at multiple angles, and you can also use it as a bracket to mount onto the wall if you have screws and you want a more permanent setup. Um, it's made out of aluminum just to dissipate the heat a little better, and the side features access to the proprietary power port, and the bottom features a few info about the Gremlin fan. The microphone is located on the very back as well for sound activation and changing the modes for audio only, just continuously looping or off. Uh, so pretty simple to set up. So here's the projector plugged into the wall. You can see this is what it looks like when it's on. If I point the prism directly at the camera, you can see this is what the effect is like. It is very, very bright, um, and it is using LED technology as opposed to, of course, laser for the light. And setting it onto a wall, you can really get a sense of what the light is like. It is actually a lot different from the typical water kind of um, ripple effect from the Aurora Master that we reviewed a few months ago. It's actually significantly different. Instead of this really gentle wave, it seems like everything moves a lot faster, it's more rapid, and it's a lot brighter as well and goes through many more custom colors. It's not as preset. Everything seems to be more adjustable. Um, it makes for a good you know, projector as well for larger stadiums and rooms. It seems to actually have a surprisingly wide field of view, so it will cast this light very brightly, even on a large ceiling or wall. So um, pretty cool, and it works, of course, pretty well. Let's check out some of the effects of the light from the remote control here. If I you know, use white light only, this is what it looks like. So it looks like flowing water, in a sense. And next, I have just red light. I have some of the other colors. Let's cycle through that very quickly. Some of these are just mixed lights, which means that they turn on the multiple LEDs to create the color. Motor stop, so that pauses the actual fan and makes it so that you have this just this one static image projected onto the wall, which is pretty interesting. And motor st start again, I can change the speed into a slower one, but this is a lot more gentle, much more similar to the older Aurora Master that we reviewed. Speed 2, which is the faster one, and there's even a third one which is in between. So finally, auto plays through it and transitions between the different effects. Flash is just a strobing effect, so there's that. And finally, there's a music mode which just syncs to the music. Whenever you snap or hear the beat, it's going to change 
uh, the lighting effect, which is pretty cool. So anyways, that's what the overall effect is like. This is what it looks like in a room where the ambient and background lights are still fully lit. It still remains visible, so it is quite bright and it looks fairly therapeutic, uh, you know, as it slowly flashes between the colors and uh, even shows up in darker materials that isn't typically, you know, completely white in terms of the color of the wall. So this is what it looks like. And the actual unit itself, of course, is underneath here. Now, there is a little bit of a fan noise, so it's not completely silent, uh, and nor was the Aurora Master, but this one does have a bit more of a fan to kick in to prevent overheating, if anything. So that's one of the only differences that I found during operation. If I zoom all the way in, you kind of hear the sound running in the background. But otherwise, it works really well. And again, the effect that it casts is quite mesmerizing and convincing as far as simulating water. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. This has been our quick video review of the updated uh, kind of a laser light twist on the traditional water LED state.